I've got a lot of projects, and people ask me sometimes how I know what song is going to go where. Is it going to be a solo record song, or a Tokyo Police Club song, or an Anyway Gang song, or a Max song? And uh, the truth is that it's it's never uh, it's rarely it's rarely clear, uh, but um, it kind of becomes clear as it goes. But uh, I have had some thoughts about um, what type of songs work for different projects, and if you're writing for something in particular. Um, one way to think about how to help that project thrive to play to the strengths of that project. Um, I just finished a solo record and I'll be telling you all about it in the next uh, weeks and months, don't worry. Um, but uh, all the songs on it are a really different vibe and it was great to do as a solo record because um, the uh, uh, there was no, there were no sonic limits on it. I could just do one song could feel like kind of have like an island feel, and then the next song could be um, like a dance thing, and the next one could be really folky and uh, bedroomy sounding, and the next one could be really rocking, and um, I could, you know, play whatever I want on each of them and uh, and go for the vibe. And what stays consistent is like um, the uh, the songwriting. And the vibe of each of each uh, song is part of what helps communicate what I'm getting at, and it really threw into context for me what um, where Tokyo shines. Um, and I think about songs like uh, "Simple Dude," and um, I think about how the whole meaning of that song. And granted, it does have it has an, a vibe because everything has a vibe in some sense. But the whole meaning of that song is baked into the chords and the sections and the words, and uh, it's a pretty um, uh, it moves you pretty explicitly through a story, and uh, the sections all you know command a certain dynamic or way of playing them, and I was just thinking that that's like a really great way to set up a band to play because sonically Tokyo isn't going to change uh, that much from song to song. I mean, we've, you know, we've changed a little bit, but uh, there's going to be drums and there's going to be bass and guitar and there's going to be some keyboards and uh, my voice and Graham's voice. And, you know, it's going to sound like Tokyo, which I love. But the way to inject the excitement for me and the adventure into it is um, recognizing that like, it's this this sound and this thing that can really move through more complicated songs and pre-choruses and um, full bridges and breakdowns and dropouts and outros and all this kind of stuff that, um, you know, when I'm tooling around with like a drum machine uh, and like a vibraphone in the, stu in the studio on my solo record, uh, you know, I, I can't navigate all those different passages uh, on, a, on a whole new set of instruments every time. So... Uh, I think that plays into the songwriting sometimes. Like, I definitely find that on uh, my solo stuff, there's, like, no pre-choruses, and the last chorus isn't a dropout. It's more like, here's an idea, and we're going to get in and get out. So, uh, so, yeah, I've been having those thoughts, and it helps me categorize what I'm doing a little bit. Uh, and then when it comes to Anyway Gang, I kind of think about, okay, i got to get in here. I just have my voice. Um you know, people might not know me as a character or, um, you know, the, the sonics of the band are something that's, I'm just, I'm just one part of, um, you know, it's sort of, uh, it's a little beyond me, uh, which is exciting. Um, and with Anyway Gang, I really try and, uh, pack a very clear message into a vocal that's like the lyrics are clear, the melody's clear, everything you need to know about what I'm trying to say is in that vocal and, uh, no matter what happens around it, uh, it's going to feel like it's going to be the song I was trying to sing. So um, I've noticed that in a couple new songs I've written where thinking, oh, this one is is really um, kind of straightforward or it just it just says what it needs to say. Uh, so and that goes into the Anyway Gang. And then I don't know if you guys know about a band called Max, but th that's a whole other can of worms where it's like, Sometimes you don't want to finish a song entirely. You want to, you know that that um, a certain group of people will love just 
improvising it and playing it differently every night and uh I think you know that's where that project shines. So, so whatever you're whatever you're working on, I'm, I'm sure there's, you know, it takes time to figure out what the what the right approach is to make it really thrive. But um, uh, yeah, thanks.